how honeybees are living up to their busy reputation. A Belgian company is putting millions of bees to work collecting data from the environment. Jonathan Biglioli shows us how an Oregon farmer is using that information to better manage his farmland. When farmer Carl Wenner suits up to check on his beehives, it's almost like going into battle. It's not just the honey he's eager to collect. This is the trap that the pollen falls into, and there it is. That pollen contains valuable data that's revealing what's happening out of sight on his 400 acre farm in Klamath Falls, Oregon. The species of plants they're visiting, the pesticides, the herbicides, heavy metals, it all comes out of that data bank right there. Five years ago, Wenner installed the bee monitoring device on the entrance of his beehives. It's created by the Belgian-based company Biodiversity. As bees squeeze through it, beads of pollen fall off their back legs and into a tray where they're collected. There's a purple pollen in there as well as that very beautiful orange and yellow. Quarterly, Wenner sends the pollen to the company and receives data in return, showing him what's growing on his property and any chemicals the bees encountered. You claim to be the uh, largest employer in the world. What do you mean by that? We have thousands and even millions of bees working to really collect the data and improve the environment. Biodiversity's CEO, Michael Van Kutzum, says his company analyzes the pollen and uses Microsoft technology and AI to identify what the bees collected, processing 8 billion data points in just a few minutes. Uh, to my understanding, we are the only ones providing this kind of data at such large scale. The AI technology also gives property owners recommendations on ways to increase biodiversity and reduce pollution. What you can do to reduce the use of pesticides, or when do you have a lack of biodiversity? What can you do about it? What can you plant? It's already making a difference on Wenner's farm. He's changed the way he applies pesticide to the invasive yellow flag iris. Instead of spraying them with a sprayer, we started applying it much more directly using gloves, of course, but wiping the herbicide on. Hoping to minimize the impact to pollinators. And after recently converting dozens of acres of farmland to wetland, he's seen the number of plant species on his property increase by 80 percent. Bees are really having a hard time uh, because of new diseases and the pesticides and herbicides that are out there. Anything that we can learn to inform us to do better with the bees, the better we are. Biodiversity has future plans to expand its coverage in the Klamath River Basin and hopes more farmers like Wenner can harness the power of bees, making informed decisions and improving the environment. For CBS Saturday Morning, I'm Jonathan Vigliotti in Klamath Falls, Oregon. Whatever it takes, whatever it takes, and to be able to use bees in order to sort of help yourself, help Mother Nature know about Mother Nature That's right. is and certainly a really creative way to do that. We need bees for our fruit, fruits and vegetables. I'm wondering if he's the biggest employer. Do they get BTO? I, like PTO. PTO, right? yeah. Is that, is that working? <laughs> is that falling flat? Maybe we'll it went a little. I, I got you. I followed it. I mean, I think it's a pretty cheap form, form of employment there with the bees. Maybe yes, just, exactly. just a little pollen for them.